The Lives of the Saints, by the Reverend Alvin Butler, taken from the 4th edition, published in 1954. October 25th, St. Chrysanthus and St. Darius, Martyrs. Chrysanthus and Darius were strangers who came from the east to Rome, the first from Alexandria, the second from Athens, as the Greeks tell us in their Menea. They add that Chrysanthus, after having been espoused to Darius, persuaded her to prefer a state of perpetual virginity to that of marriage, that they might more easily, with perfect purity of heart, trample the world under their feet, and accomplish the solemn consecration they had made of themselves to Christ in baptism. The zeal with which they professed the faith of Christ distinguished them in the eyes of the idolaters. They were accused and, after suffering many torments, finished their course by a glorious martyrdom, according to their acts in the reign of Numerian. Bailet thinks rather in the persecution of Valerian in 237. Several others who, by the example of their constancy, had been moved to declare themselves Christians were put to death with them. St. Gregory of Tours says that a numerous assembly of Christians who were praying at their tomb soon after their martyrdom were, by order of the prefect of Rome, walled up in the cave and buried alive. Saints Chrysanthus and Darius were interred on the Salarian Way with their companions, whose bodies were found with heirs in the reign of Constantine the Great. This part of the catacombs was long known by the name of the cemetery of Saints Chrysanthus and Darius. Their tomb was decorated by Pope Damasus, who composed an epitaph in their honor. Their sacred remains were translated by Pope Stephen VI in 866, part into the Lateran Basilic and part into the Church of the Twelve Apostles.